Hello and welcome to my coding session where I implement my project which is a bucket manager. It is a user for JavaFX application for managing XML files. So basically from my last coding session I did implemented the XML output for set model which gets the information the java object from the set model class set model represents information about satellites i mean satellites point xml file and after some manipulations i need to output it to the xml and currently i can generate xml my next step is to write an XML output of for SAT for SAT services, and the next call will be to write an XML output of for SAT TV buckets model. So let's do this. And basically, it goes like this. So have here my project. Now I need to work with my file services XML this is what I want and basically here this is a, an example of what I need to produce and it consists of a zipit set and sponder and so on and so on but I need to write the test first because I'm coding in the TDD format so I write another test case, JUnit test case. This test case will be for XML, XML output uh, for services test. All right. Here is my test, and basically I'm doing the same job uh, which which I had done previously. So basically I need to let me just save it like this. I need to create a method. So here it is, let me just quickly format the code and now I need to create this object. I will call this method testing if XML output are for services, services object exists and I need to declare here the class for services. Now I need to create this class. Let me just quickly think of it. Basically I would I need to use before each. And this is like this. Okay, imported classes are okay. Now I need to declare this class. It's basically XML output of for satellites. It was done previously, and I need rename copy. And I'm creating here. Let me just name it here first. XML output for services I hope I spell it right um, let me just quickly so I have here services services all right now I declare the variable here like this sure and now I need to instant instantiate this variable within 
because I need to use it later. And what this class basically does, it, yeah, it won't work first of all because I have written my failing test. Yep. And now I need to create a class which is in this package new composer class which is java class and now I can basically auto import it Okay, so uh, let me just say following. So I'm now creating the class for generating generating XML, and yeah, let's just do it. Let's just look at what we have. So I'm basically written a test to make sure that I can create such class. Yeah. And you see it works. XML output uh, for services test. Testing if XML output for services object exists. So does work. Now for the next test. And let me just quickly go through my previously created test case for the first XML output. And yeah. So the same goes for the for this case. I may need to make I need uh, I need to be sure that I am that my let me just copy first of all the code. Okay, let me just declare this variable actual result yeah. and then call appropriate method. So testing testing if XML output of work with populated services model services model and here I need to call this object and so basically I'm checking here that my that my services services model wasn't set up so basically I get this message when this test case fails And now I need just to make sure that my method so I need to write things like that. Basically it has same design pattern. I will refer to services set not uh, I mean services services model is set up. And of course I need to I need to put my services model in this method. This is why very important. So let me just quickly think of it. same stuff same stuff I'm reading the document so basically I need here to write uh, my test yeah. in my test I need to write string path to services XML 
then I need to initialize it well let me just copy copy this line and instead of think yeah instead of satellites XML I just need to write here like services XML refactory name yeah pick copy move like this now now I have set up this path to services XML and now I need to declare the appropriate model in my class which is in my class models set services models set services model Set services model and I need to work it in my test here so basically I need this object of the model so I add the import And I'm basically passing this uh, object. Alright, so set services object. Uh, what I need to do, I need to initialize it. Thing. So now I just need to call. read read wait a second do I have why I have two <laughs> okay so basically I have two methods in my services mm. I'm sort of a confused right now Alright, so make my XML output of a services test creates uh, this object, set services object, which is a model. Alright, set services model does not contain the constructor, I mean, it uses default constructor which it gets from the JVM uh, from the yeah, from JVM okay so here no constructor you see and basically I need to call I think I need to call this method read and set up a JDOM document strangely enough I have to I discover that I have two methods with the same name. How it is so? So I discovered interesting stuff. Read and set up a JDOM document. Read and set up JDOM document.
strange. I have created. Let me just let me just uh, compare these two methods and here I need to postpone postpone the step yeah postpone the step and uncomment this test case yeah right like this said I can run all of my other tests so basically pretty interesting situation is this does it contains uh, one and the same name read and set up jdom document read and set up a jdom document Ah, I'm using here a JDOM document. So some difference is here, but I'm not quite sure why. Let me just quickly look up where I'm using this doc this method here and here. Okay, so I. <laughs> I accidentally probably written two same methods. I mean, yeah, it's one, one and the same methods. Let me, let me just uh, look up the test case for the set services model. Test case for the set services model. Model test set services set services set services model test. All right, so read and set up a JDOM document. Okay, so If you, if I just compare two two methods, this one and this one, and they are doing the same stuff. Yeah. Okay, let me just quickly do following. I will delete this method and run all of my tests. And let's look if something goes wrong. Yeah, interesting. So cannot find test. Let me just quickly look it up. Set services model test Java. Cannot find sim symbol. Okay, one hundred. So yeah, I, it failing, it failing, but this is actually good. Set service model test because because uh, I'm using wrong method. I think. Let me just set services model test Java. 72, 71, 71, 42. Okay, now let's set services model.
gonna be 70, 71. So basically, interesting, interesting stuff. What he does not like. Let me just wrap some word. Okay, now, once again. They are looking for this method, and this is actually in my test test suite. Here it is in my test suite set services model test. Let's just look it up. All right, so read and set up a JDOM document. One and two. Run once again all of my tests. Let me close it. Uh, this, this, this is okay. XML output. This is my example. And now I just need to need to run all of my tests. Okay, so Okay, interesting. So okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. So let me just only run the test for my model. No, I mean for the service model test. Set service model test. Here it is. Run as JUnit. Okay, not not a problem. So now I just need to do following. I go to my model, return back return back this method in my in my in my model in my model I need to find out set services model test here it is so here I'm just need to delete this a This will be sufficient.
Yeah, sometimes things have like this uh, happens, but I have my death wins, so nothing should go away. I think it is an eclipse problem. Let me just ri run my tests. Because what? Set set services model. Let me just do following. Let me let me just quickly quickly go over the methods methods here. So basically, I need to call this method. But I don't think this is some new ink in the graphic reader. It looks to me the same. I don't understand right now why it happens. Probably it's eclipse problem. Let me just quickly. Yeah, sometimes it is eclipse. So. Read and set up. It should, this should work basically. Yeah, I think it is Eclipse probably. Let me just close it. Close it, close it. Yeah, it sometimes happens. Mm, and you need to make sure that. Let me just clean the project. Run my clean, maven clean. And now I just need to run my tests. Cannot find symbol. Inter interesting problem. So I have my set services model test, and set services model test. At this line, it has a problem with the reading. Testing if set service model JDOM document set up. And let's just look it up in my set services model and I have here read and j and set up JDOM document ah I need to use big J let me just quickly fix it. Let me just run it. Let me just run my test.
Okay, so for some unknown reason, it um, it has a problem with the importing. I think it's some sort of an uh, of, a, of an eclipse problem. Let me just think about helper utils. It is a test case. Test case uh, helper utils. Read XML and create JDOM with the old SAT. Yeah. It is all here. So it's basically an eclipse problem. Let me pause. So okay, it was some sort of uh, eclipse bug. Uh, but now when I run all of my tests, uh, let me just clear all of things. Yeah, sometimes it happens if you have larger project and eclipse cannot all, always be a right tool. But yeah, sometimes it needed to be discovered at the, some later development stage. I see all tests run fine and now I need to think about these two methods. I have read and set up a JDOM document and I have here read and set up JDOM document. Two methods. You can clearly see they are doing the same stuff and question is what of the methods I can remove uh, because I don't need one so I'm no uh, I'm I know that I don't need this method uh, because in my test I never ever call so here I'm calling read and set up a JDOM document read set up a JDOM document Ah, okay, so let me just try to call to call this method. What happens? What will happen? So I first of all I add I refactor this method name I mean calling of this method uh, refactor rename Okay. After doing this, I read and set up JDOM document. So basically, I need to edit my model. When model is here, and here I need to delete this unneeded method. Because, as I said earlier, they have this. Let me just think. Sub services JDOM document. Okay, so it's using all these two methods. Okay, so basically, this is the main difference. 
and let me just do following. So, what what just happens? I need to when I started to write another test case, I discovered that I have two methods with the same meaning, but they are doing actually the manipulations. So basically this is the main difference of, of the two methods. One is setting up a set JDOM document and another setting up set services JDOM document. Set services J set services JDOM document. Well basically to do the thing right I calling in my test I'm calling in my test read read XML and create JDOM with all buckets now read the setup JDOM document here this method I'm calling this method and when I delete this method I'm not making sure that I actually not update this variable so basically I think now this test will probably fail okay it works so let me just run all of my tests I need to make sure that I'm doing the right stuff Alright, so all tests passing through and what should I do next? So I'm actually thinking about some... I am in the blue phase right now at the moment. Um, and I'm actually thinking about to use not set set JDOM document basically I need to delete this and I need to call set services JDOM document Okay, and, and another methods here, method, all of these methods I need to, let me just think, yep, yeah. they were inappropriate here, and let me just run this test. Okay, it's passing, all of the things I don't need it. And now I just need to run all of my tests. And let's hope it, it works pretty well. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. So... So where I am failing? Testing if testing if set services model JDOM document is set up. Let's just look it.
I need to maybe yeah. And here where I have the problem. Yeah. Get sad buckets, JDOM documents. So wait a second. This is not the place. Yeah, sometimes you caught up with uh, some smaller mistakes. But I have my test suite, I can work with my test suite. So, once again, where is fa failure happens? I have my set service model test. And here it is. I go to my set set services model test and I look up this method and here you go here here I have my set services object and where I'm failing get such a document because I deleted yeah that's right so I just need to do so actually a failure happens with my test now they just fix it because the method is undefined blah 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 72 okay so I need to call this method to look up this method and as a result I have two mistakes, one here and one here. Not a problem at all. Yeah, refactoring sometimes can be challenging, but not in my case. So I need just to to get hold of my set services JDOM document. Set services. Wait a second, where is my get and set up? Uh, I need, let me just quickly write some code. Wrong place. Uh, this get sub. Get services, yeah. Copy this line. It's way better. The quality quality is way better when you do so. Yeah, I don't need this. Yeah. So basically, this is what you need to always make your code better. And I having my tests. And uh, now it sh should work fine. So it's passing. Now when I run all of my tests, it should work too. Let me just quickly run all of my tests. And this is the power of TDD. Now I remove it unneeded method. I remove unneeded variable. I clean up my code. And all of my 113 tests are passing. And you clearly see that I have no failure. No failures. Zero failures. And the code works as expected. But I actually got a pretty nice result so I am basically where's my set services yeah uh, set services model here so basically got cleaner code you can do it like that 
and it was all about this variable so it's pretty obvious and all of my stuff works and works as expected so let's just do further let me just run it because I did some change only one line so yeah it all works pretty fine now to the main to the, to the actually what I trying to achieve so here is my test uh, te class which I need to test and my test itself is here now we, I can actually execute my test here Ctrl Shift C let me just call a test which I take an idea how to do the stuff and what once again the power of TDD is not only able to write tests for your for you for your code but actually to make it better each time of, of the iteration and what uh, you actually saw it was one of those examples where you have some clarity about your code at the end so what to do next let me just okay I have almost a an hour um what I should proceed next well let me just think about so I need to set up my document set up document and I need to provide the path to my URL like this read and set up and I need to call the right method alright so now it have, a, have the path to the XML and now I need to what I need to do further calculate amount of satellites so I need to look up my module um, set services module test and basically here it is check if JDOM document is set up ah, okay so read and set up JDOM document so basically at this point my JDOM document is set up and of course I need to call the builder method build a set of set services so I'm calling this method um, let me just so I need to be in here Okay, so I need to pass. Uh, let me just. M M a list elements. So I need to basically go to the model test and find out how I do this. Okay, so let me just 
let me just quickly look up the order of calling this method so imp lists elements but I need to have here in my module test um, basically let me just look up this method where I am building read and set up JDOM document ah create such information objects ah this is what I am actually looking up yeah check if such information objects are created so this is a method basically where I am okay so calculate amount of satellites and this is why I need Ah, okay, so this is different stuff. Let me let me just quickly back be back on, on my foot. So I am building services object, satellite services object. Don't mix up uh, with other stuff. And let me just quickly remove it so yeah sometimes it will can happen so basically I need to look up set services model set services model test set services module test here it is now I need to look up here read uh, read and set up JDOM document here it is now I just need to model check and set up check name it is one build a set of set services I think this is what I'm actually looking but why I need to pass the list of elements where I'm calling this method I'm not sure I'm yeah and let me just look it up So I'm just uh, some sort of a puzzled how I mm, how I'm I actually building those objects. Why I need all of this? Because I need to I need to verify that my that my services are set up. Because I need I need to make sure that they are not null. And I have another five minutes, so let me just quickly think. So I'm creating new SAT service model. I read and setting up the path to this to the path of my model, and basically. basically after doing this after doing this I check if JSON was created
now I need to make sure that I am actually building those um, objects so basically I need to look up the method which set up my set of my services list and I think I did found it set of satellite services so basically build list of set services and I need to call this method I need to pass to this method uh, a list of elements and of course I need to get I need to find the method which set up this app EMP uh, no wait a second so I need to find the method which calls build a set of set services So set service model test. Let's just look it up. So here it is. Okay, new read XML and create JDOM with all SAT. I'm I'm using helper methods. Now I understand how it works. Because all SAT, let me just quickly, let me just quickly notice how how the method name it is. So I'm basically using some sort of a mockup. Read XML and create JDOM with all SAT. This is a basically. I think yeah it, it is in helper utils it is in helper utils and let me just basically yeah I will use it later so here is my test which I am actually trying to do so I using a mock-up object which creates me uh, he creates he create uh, he reads a, an XML and creates a JDOM document with the information about all of my objects which I have to do. and I just need to do the same stuff so basically I need to declare it here right here so read xml create jdom mockup mockup jdom all sat services and of course I need to Basically, this uh, I think this is a wrong way to do the stuff. I need to call this method. Uh, I mean, to call this object. And on this object, I need to call read and set up a JDOM document.
So basically here this method uses all of the stuff. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. So after taking some pose, uh, I look up my quail, my my source code, and did found that I'm got some sort of a drawback, but it was maybe some issue with the design architecture. But anyhow, so what I did change it, I figure it out. So my class which creates a set of services he did not uh, consist of a method which actually read an XML information I mean I mean the, the step let me just show you the code before I bubbling through so I have the method here let me just go through the code so here is the method and let me just do this like this yeah. um, <clears throat> I have a test case where I'm reading an XML file and you saw it previously I use a lot of mockup mockup class but I don't need it I don't need it anymore to, to, to passing the test and I added this method read JDOM document and create fir first first level element list and now I just need to go to my model look up this method and you will probably understand what actually happens so this uh, method reads an XML document, JDOM document. Uh, from this document, it takes the information. I mean, it takes this information. And give it back. So, it, it takes get children list of the child elements nested directly one level deep so he, he, uh, each satellite each satellite has those elements and I mean by that all, all of the transponders with the channels so basically I am passing through this information. I have sat name like following sat name till the end. So all between tag offset will be read. So and because I am reading where is my process? So here I am read and set up JDOM document. So I am reading my XML file, creating a JDOM document from this from the file. And after that, I'm creating this third level element list, which is, which consists of all elements. I mean, I'm getting the element list for satellite, and will be uh, it will be interesting that I after doing so I need to create so next next uh, test will be here yeah so I'm building 
I'm actually building a list, a set of set services after doing so. And I'm printing those uh, elements on my console. So basically, let me let me just go through with it. Now I need to let me just quickly. So I have a thing, have some bug here because I need to make sure that I am uh, that I have pass all of the set name stuff. And let me just mm, I'm thinking so that I should get uh, children not of set but of sepid let me just quickly change it and run all, all of my tests basically this will be some sort of a temporary problem I think it wouldn't work such way but this is always um, a mess with the XML. Let me just quickly run it and let's try it. Yep. So basically, I need to specify a set. And I am getting a list of all the child elements nested directly one level deep with this element with the given local name and belongs to no namespace blah 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 so basically one needed step for me it it works but i'm i'm hope that i'm getting all of my sat elements from them I get the childs and I need to make sure that I am doing this actually so now here in my method amp list elements here let me just do some interesting stuff so here where print list of services to console I don't need this I can uncomment but in this method read JDOM document and create first level elements here I need to output some stuff because I need to make sure that I am getting all SAT elements I have in my services XML free text with set name like this for example set name serious and so on and i need to get i need to make sure that i'm getting all child elements for each of the set name tags this is what i'm actually thinking about because because you see i have many 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 stuff here and of course, let me just uh, sat name, and let me just do the following: sat name once, two, three, and that's it. So I'm basically looking up up uh, if I have all of all of those. And now I just need to write here because here I'm reading the JDOM document which represents XML information and here I need just to iterate for iterate over collection for each I like for each to use here and let me just quickly this out and here what I need element
let me just do it like this. I'm not sure this is a proper method, but let's just try it, test it out. Okay, so it's wrong. And how I should do this? I have some example where where I am reading and converting it all to, to the Java object. And basically basically where I'm reading all of this check name. Let me just quickly look up some stuff. So basically, yeah, I need to know, I need to make sure that I'm getting all of my elements. So let me just write quickly here. To string maybe it this has more more better view all right so basically tell me yeah you have three sat elements so I know that for the fact I'm getting all of my set let me just uh, get those names. Get maybe when I set up like this. It will be proper method. So now let me just no 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 yep I think I this re this returns the attribute value for the attribute with a given name how I Get children. Sometimes get child. I'm looking for the name, get name. I think it does not work such way. Set, 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 set. Okay, so basically it has, it has this what I need to do. Maybe I can call to string. Hope it, do. hope it uh, works how I expected. No. So basically, get name return the local name of the element without any. So I have what I need to get. I need to get the string. Uh, maybe let me just when I execute some stuff here. Get. Okay. So. I need to get the name of the element. Maybe this. Let me just quickly test it out. 
and I know I'm at one hour but it's very important to make sure that I am on the staying on the right track so what have I here next uh, trim value get value what is what is get value maybe when I use get value okay so now it probably work better so let me just okay so this is not appropriate has attributes so and I have is root element no 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 so basically what I need to get I want to print the element name I have my attribute child elements one level deep with this element with a given local name I need to I need to I wish to have a <laughs> get mm, an element let me just look, quickly look up um, to the example of other, of another project get child text implement get attribute value Aha, okay, so I basically need get attribute value. Uh, get attribute value. And here I need to specify of what. I hope I get some clarification. No, no, no. Why it's no? Let me just quickly do go to the example project. And I think I need to look up, look up some stuff. So basically, basically, it happens. So. It's not about Java knowledge, it's about uh, more or less uh, how to use an API of JDOM. And JDOM is not a part of uh, Java core library and this is taking some time to figure out how exactly it actually uh, takes some stuff. So let me just do it. What I need to do, I need an XML employee file. And okay, so get child. Get children employee. Okay, so basically, maybe when I specify it, like, let me just quickly do it. Uh, I think this is basically better. Let me just run, run it again. No, no, no. What I can access, what I can access, get attribute value. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's a pity that I cannot use to, to, to string to extract this information, but element shot. But I know that it goes through all of the elements. Let me just get quickly uh, amount of lines which I have, and this is, will be pretty sufficient. So. Get content return the number of children in this parents content list and this will be sufficient enough okay so I have exactly what I'm what I needed to know so so yeah now I will conclude the session because I got my result. Uh, I have 89 lines for one satellite, 85 for another satellite, and 237 for another satellite. So it's basically uh, pretty re reassuring that I'm working with all of my set name with, with, with all my satellites. And that's it. This will be quite sufficient. I only need to let me just uh, to delete this code. I don't need it. So yeah. Now I I conclude the session as I said earlier, and it was basically refactoring, refactoring, improving the code. And working for the another test case, which I will continue in my next session. So, until then, bye-bye.